carrying on. And if we could troll this flips a killer lot up. Potty, yes, Potty is back up on his wheels and in business. What a nice little barrel roll there from complete control. Oh no! Oh, well, he's flipped himself over. This time, out. oh, Potty's got back up again! And he's attacking Sir Killalot and shacking him! Ah, uh, what the hell! Oh, what the hell? That's just wrong. <laughs> That's just disgusting. So Potty's attack is to shag robots. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Overkill. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that was supposed to work. Oh, a well, boom from Potty. Overkill. Put back up and over. A three minutes as we've got a judge's decision. Oh, Potty's back up on his wheels. What a move. Oh, leave him alone. Oh, I was surprised you missed all the was price. And Potty's in trouble. Push up against the sidewall. To complete control. Save the day. Uh, complete control. Stuck on his side. He needs to self right off there. Oh, he's back up. And I think the only other series that complete control is, um, Lampion's next. This series is quick. So, another epic win for Robot Showdown. Oh, but look at that. But, that they were expecting that. Potty strikes back. Hypersonic happens to be the actual the worst of them all. Either Potty is going better than him. Come on, Hypersonic. Where's the Tilda? But, oh, they're getting up on the Tilda. Come on, Hypersonic. Yes, this is his moment. Look at that. Hypersonic tossed Matilda up onto her back. Rebellion against the house robots anyway. They're about to... No, they're about to knock out Matilda. Oh, but look at that. Look at that. So let's start counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh dear, three, two, one, and hypersonic sound. Look at that, six. Oh my god. Oh, hypersonic flip behind the back of the pit as you can. See, there's Matilda, and there's Hypersonic. What a shame. They just about went out before Cease was called, but do that flip of yours, you guys. On the... No, that was crap. Please, no crappy flips. Just a decent flip for once, please. Oh, he's not doing it now. He wants to be a douchebag now. There we go. Well, Hypersonic, you're out of it anyway, mate, so... You can see what I mean, he's... He just flips better up on that sort of surface. Meanwhile, I don't know if you can even see Potty. You can't even see him. Oh, there he is. So, uh, he's actually stuck beneath the floor. Oh, well, not really, but stuck beneath the spectator stand. So, just just making up their minds, but you can see... Overkill on top of that. Hmm. It's been an interesting one the hair, but I don't reckon Potty will make it through somehow. Okay. Till again. Kill a lot beaten up. That's what's the next round. Growler, he never looks happy. Not that he should be, because he's an emo. And shunt. Okay. Let's put this back in place. Right, Rackboss made this complete control is through, which is right. I think so. And 
they've only just made it through the putty. They were down a lot longer, so overkill through to the next round, just they were just a tiny bit more aggressive. But if putty, because the reason putty did well is because they kept, they have this thing where if a robot flips them, they land back on their wheels. They just seem to be very good at just doing that. Whereas a lot of robots, they just fall over like that. But putty always seems to get, no, not that. Like that, yeah. Well, what a shame for Potty, but Potty give us a little spin, and Hypersonic give us a flip. We'll see you guys next time. No overkill. Enjoy complete control in the next round. Let's have my juice. Whoa! Well, let's get on with round two. First, we're just having a small break, though. As next robot's getting ready, we've got the very interesting lineup for this round. It's got some huge machines. Well, actually, we've only got one huge machine really, but I don't think it's I don't think it's too big yet. It's way too big. It's not as big as Ox though, who is, by the way, the biggest machine in my series. I mean, I don't have it on that because then it falls down like that. Anyway, let's get on. Round two, how about a shunt and a growler way up there? So, shunt, blocks, and even oh my, that is terrible! I've just creased it by putting my elbow on it. The crap! And growler, I'm actually hurting my arm doing this. I'm gonna stop that. So here we go. First one, I'm going to have to drop down. Labrador card. Now, I don't... I think this one was in the box to my series. I actually can't remember. I think it was, though. It's got a nice front-hinged flipper, which leans forward like that, and it can also flip from that way, but it usually self-writes like that. It's, um... The card I got... That's for one of my left days. It's got pictures of black Labradors on it. And it's from my uncle. Hence the writing saying, Love you, uncle, or something. But Labrador card is not a bad machine, but you can see the big punch in the middle of the Labrador, <laughs> which looks a bit weird. It's because it got in a fight with Razor once and it kind of paid the price. Not a bad machine though. High ground clearance, but the flipper is very powerful. Next on, the formidable Gridlock. Now, Gridlock is unlike anything I've seen. I don't even know what it is, which is kind of weird, but it's like some Kinex power station thing. It's like a 3d design it's got this ram here it can spin it doesn't have a scream act which is its only real weakness but it's going to change that for series two it's very powerful but it seems to knock itself over with the power it seems to possess it was going to be in series two but it was replacing crimson leaf the heat j but i found crimson leaf but it was too late gridlock was already replacing them but then we found out bad wind had to pull out with engine planer so crimson leaf did appear in series one Next one on, Space Pod. Now, this is competing in my... Is it Smelly Thing series? I can't remember. Um, now, Space Pod, some people say it's got a flipper. Some people say it's got a lifting spike. It's just a lifter. But Space Pod's greatest weakness, very much like Scooper Duper for Robo War, the ground clearance. Look at that ground clearance from either side. It's terrible. If he's down like that, the freaking camera can get beneath it. And then, even then, when he's up like that, just... It's his biggest weakness. Now, a lot of people think Space Pod's a good machine, but I just think they need to prove themselves a bit. Because it's just not very tough. And I've just virtually <laughs> destroyed the Osaga shoebox, which must have been the worst shoebox I've ever seen. And gets on. Oops. Well, it kind of just broke itself, so I don't think I will drop it that high next time. But this is Luke's ship. Now, um, Space Pod and Luke Ship are both parts of Star Wars toy spaceships. This is the spaceship Luke Skywalker uses in, uh, what's it in, is it The Empire Strikes Back or something? I haven't watched Star Wars for four years, because I'm kind of too old for it now. But then somebody said, then, if you're too old for that, then why are you playing with Robot Wars toys? Why don't you fuck off? No. <laughs> anyway, it's got a nice screen mech. Um, lifting spikes, R2-D2. I think Luke's ship will be a popular choice amongst our fans. 
the music is going to be the Jack 2 Fortress Tank Trouble theme. Here we go. Three, two, one, activate. Oh, wait. Now, Gridlock's attacking Luke's ship. There's Space Pod in trouble. Space Pod up and underneath Labrador Card. But Labrador Card quite easily finding it finding it quite easy to get underneath that ground clearance. Now Gridlock, you can see, is very powerful. And Luke ships got a horrific ground clearance on the wings. You see what I mean? Now how the crap is he gonna get out of that? I haven't had this theme for ages, look at that. And it's trying to use that to get off the side. We'll see you guys for part three.